All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about EVDs in the cath lab. So when we transfer, uh, we're gonna talk about transferring the patient safely to the bed. We're gonna talk about setting up the EVD drain to the uh, pole on the, cath on the cath lab table. And we're gonna talk about zeroing. So first, the patient ha should have the uh, drain on the patient's body. It should be turned off to the patient, either here or at the head closest to, and that would be off to the patient. It's going off. So now we're going to safely slide the patient over and then we're also going to secure the head by having somebody hold the patient's head and hold the line. And on her count, one, two, three. Slide the board under. Okay, one, two, three. Okay. And we're gonna get this arm board. And we're gonna talk about safe measures of keeping this attached. So there's no uh, chance of it coming out. So what she's gonna do is she's going to tape the drain to the patient's shoulder. That way it won't get pulled out from here. We're also going to make sure that this drain gets hooked up here safely. Okay. And then for extra measures, we're gonna use this cable, hook it around one of these hooks, just for extra safety. Then, if you want to be extra safe, we can, we can tape this to the arm board, and we're also gonna put the purple pillow under safely. All right, so now we have to level it. The way we're gonna level it is we're gonna take the string with the leveling device, put it to the tragus, make sure it's leveled and you're going to adjust it by either raising or lowering the, the drain. So we're leveled. Right here. Now we're going to turn it to drain. So we're gonna turn this, either this one here to on to drain and then make sure this one is on to the drain. Next, we're going to attach the cable to the monitor. All right, so now we're gonna zero. So we're gonna turn this stopcock off to the transducer from the patient to the transducer and drain to the transducer. We're gonna turn this open and we're going to take off this cap so now we are open to atmospheric pressure this is the transducer this is what gives you the icp reading and then we're going to ask can we zero the transducer and once they say it's been zeroed we can go ahead and close this close this and then we're going to turn this off to the drain and now we're going to go from the patient to the transducer. And so this is how we check ICP. Once we get a good ICP reading, you want to remember to turn it off to the patient so we can continue to drain. And every time we want to get an ICP reading, all we would do is just turn this transducer from the patient side to the transducer. And that's when we get an ICP reading. And that's it. Thank you. All right, uh, so now we're gonna talk about troubleshooting. A couple things that could happen is uh, the waveform has been dampened or this has been uh, disconnected. You would wanna make sure that's connected. And then you'll have to re-zero it to see if it's a true waveform, true ICP. Maybe there was a, a, a big increase or change in the ICP. Then you would just go ahead and through the zeroing process, 
Um, if it's not a zeroing issue or it's not a, a ICP issue, maybe it's a draining issue. So if for some reason you were getting drainage, um, then you, and all of a sudden you didn't get any drainage, then you wanna go through the process of why we aren't getting drainage. So a couple ways is either one of these uh, stopcocks were moved, wanna make sure it's been in the right area here and also here, make sure this stopcock is in the correct area. Um, and if you're, if that hasn't changed and they were all open, then you could go ahead and take this off carefully and we can drop it below the tragus uh, to see if we start getting drainage. If we did get drainage, then great. We'll go ahead and put it back on the pole safely. We will have to re-level the drain simply by just getting your cord here, making sure it's level to the tragus. Um, if for some reason you didn't get drainage when you had it down, that could mean either it was dislodged or uh, you have a clot in the catheter. And that's it. Thank you.